Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Wow, number 14 of my Invisalign uh, trays and experience done. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So I had my Invisaligns at the start of this year, and we are now just at the back end of August, literally tomorrow going into September. So just recapping, just slightly, but if you want to go into a little bit more detail, now I'd be happy to absolutely take you through that. Please join my first clip. Um, just to give you a little bit of insight and background into it, I had uh, braces uh, when I had the Damon Metal uh, fitted braces to my teeth. And that was fixed braces back when I was 19 years of age. Um, I had that done privately as I just missed the cusp of having them done here on the NHS um, in, in this part of the world. So really great opportunity, but missed that one. So I had them done privately, um, which was a really great experience. And the doctor and the specialist I was under at the same time happened to be the same person who done my treatment around this time. So had perfectly aligned teeth for many, many years. Then I would say now probably about 18 months, maybe maybe not even that, maybe a shorter period than that, um, being that I've worn them for, I'd say, about a seven-month period, maybe just shy of that now, my Invisaligns. Um, but I originally had them way back, nearly about 18 months, I suppose nearly closer to two years when I was 19 years of age, and I had an amazing experience. Everything was um, just as I wanted, immaculately straight, always been very, very um, proud and quite conscious of my teeth. I love having them done whitened um, and um, having them uh, sort of scaled and polished. Now, a lot of people don't like that, but I visit the dentist often. I haven't had them whitened for a very long time now, um, but I use all sorts of whitening products and fancy flash toothpaste and things um, and love the confidence what having great teeth gives you. So it wasn't only until about this period um, of about I'd say a year ago now, maybe a little bit more than that, actually, where I started to notice some change on the side of my alignment um, here on this side. And I could see that when I was smiling in pictures, there was a shadow. So I went in, cutting a long story short, I went to have that checked out where I had my teeth straightened, the same specialist. Strangely enough, 10 years on, um, I've now recently just turned 30. Um, and my, I was having some problems with the, uh, the sort of at the time, I was having some investigations for some collagen issues, um, greater issues in the background, which I'm happy to say is more under control now, and I'm, I'm kind of there with that. Um, but there was some change, and they weren't 100% sure whether or not that was because of what I was going through in the background, or whether or not because it was quite rare where I had some, um, they described it as some collapse in the arch of my uh, jaw, in my teeth here. Um, but that sounds, sounds a bit scary, but the alignment had certainly changed and I wasn't happy with that and my retainers were no longer doing their job. So um, I opted to have a visual line and here we are. The treatment's been done. 14 trays I had. Each one I had, um, I wouldn't say I had any problems. Some are more comfortable than others. Um, and then each two week period, I would have the dental monitoring app through a little device, which you hold with your phone and then a mouthpiece and you do your own scan. And then every now and again, you would go into the uh, orthodontist uh, office and have it checked and just to check that things were over. So number 14 for me, I was really, really pleased to report that no problems, no pain, no discomfort. In fact, the two weeks just flew by. I was actually on holiday one week of that, came back. Um, and to be honest, time everything was sorted back to work and everything it was time to have them uh, looked at and time to have them off. So I didn't have any discomfort, any pain, but there was some final uh, sort of fine tuning, I would say just around this part here of my teeth which I am really greatly appreciative of, um, and the experience was incredible. 12 and 13 were a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I had some pain, actually, and just a slight pain, which was dulled down by just a couple of paracetamol. And to be honest, if I really didn't need it, then I wouldn't bother throughout my whole experience. But any discomfort, I always found just two paracetamol would really just put it back to being a lot more comfortable. I didn't really have any issues at all. So it was perfectly bearable. There was no issues, no huge discomfort. I think the main thing which I wasn't so keen on is when I first had them fitted, where there was a little bit of a, a lisp, a little bit of a, um, it would interrupt how I spoke for a couple of days. But after that window passed, I was pretty much fine. And I think the easiest thing I would I would probably suggest to people who have a visual line when they're going through that and they have that transitional 
phase, it's the tongue getting used to having something on the back of the teeth. So what I would do is literally for three days, I would, I would come off in my uh, sort of own area, own space, and I would just be practicing to myself, or I would put some music on, and I would be literally just wording the sounds. So straight away, literally, just over and over and over and over and over, saying words, and then that quickly corrected how I spoke, and then you just adapt, and then your tongue sort of sits more appropriately to the aligner, and then you're absolutely fine. Um, so as I say, great experience all the way through. It was a long time, I thought it at times, but now I've had them off, it seems to have just flown by, but it certainly was a really great experience. Um, number 14, as I say, no issues, nothing at all from that. Then I had to wait for two weeks, so I had to wear them. Um, usually, which was a bit strange, I could, I had them for two weeks and they would change. Um, so I had to wear them for another two weeks after, so I wore them for a month, my same ones, which is not a problem because I never ate with them in. I learned very quickly in the first line of trays that you have to be really careful because they stain very, very easy. Um, so the only thing I drank with them in was water. So I'd slip them out for anything else, um, especially sort of strong drinks, um, such as coffee. And of course, if somebody, I don't particularly like red wine, I suffer with vertigo really quite badly, and I have done throughout a lot of my adult life. So red wine for me is a no-go. Um, but things like white wine, I I did have a couple of sips with that in, but most of the time, just so you could enjoy it, I did take it out. Um, but yeah, no, ex no sort of poor experiences at all. Um, they say you should wear them for 20 to 22 hours a day. I would say pretty much there, there was a couple of times where I was quite unwell, again with vertigo and one thing or another, so I couldn't wear them for all that time, but thankfully it wasn't detrimental to my treatment. Um, and yeah, I had a really, really great experience, and I would wholeheartedly recommend them to anybody who was looking to, is it inconspicuously or conspicuously? I don't know, I can't remember the way around it, but if you're looking to straighten your teeth and you don't want it sort of wow, I'm straightening my teeth type thing with wired ones, or just that comfort and that sort of knowing that you just haven't got a fixed brace, you can just sort of take them out. If you do feel a little bit sort of, oh, I'm not so keen on this, or if I'm eating something, or if I'm going somewhere, or or whatever, if that's you, then a vision line is perfect for you. I would never, ever say that they knock my confidence by having them in, because they are a really great thing to have anyway. Um, and you know what? I thought it was quite a cool thing to have as well. Um, and as I say, love the experience, and I would recommend it to anyone at all. As I say, 14, no problems at all. Really, really happy about that. So I had to wait a two-week period, and then I had a scan to see if everything had uh, taken to the shape which it was meant to, and if there was any problems. So that was all fine. Um, then I went and seen the specialist who treated me in my first round of straightening at the age of 19. So then again, 29.30, seeing me again was really quite cool, um, and everything was fine, had a lot of compliments how much they changed and everything, how that went, so that was absolutely brilliant as well. And then I had to wait another week, so as you can see, we're probably about three weeks on now, where I had my retainer uh, made, and I collected that then on the Friday. So here we are, and I've been wearing that now for about a week, and it's only at night, so I only wear the retainers at night, and um, rather than just sitting on the teeth like the aligner, they sit much more up on the gum, um, so they sort of hold up underneath. So it literally feels like that. You've got your thumb out here like this, holding the bridge of your mouth. So it's quite a lot on your teeth, but it holds everything nice and secure and steady. Um, and then I take that out in the morning. I'm up very, very early, just past five in the morning. Um, and yeah, I can go about my day. I don't have them on anymore. I do kind of miss them, I have to admit, which is a very strange thing to say, isn't it? But I'm happy in the results. As you can see, no more shadow. And the shape is pretty amazing. I don't mind saying so myself. <laughs> so I did find myself going around literally like this called Tyrone uh, Really, really pleased. Uh, really pleased with the shape and absolutely love it. And as I say, would wholeheartedly recommend them to anybody. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have been following me throughout my journey of Invisalign, thank you very, very much. God bless you. And thank you so much for doing so. Um, I really hope that it's been an interesting journey and I've captured everything right from my first step to my last step. It's been an absolute privilege to share with you. I've loved the journey. There's been a few hiccups along the way, um, but we got through it. As of anything in life, it does make you stronger, but of course this wasn't that bad anyway, um, and it really was a great experience. Um, something I would love to share, so if you have any questions, any comments, or if you'd like to ask me anything at all, please leave them down below and I will do my utmost best to get to you, get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, but yeah, we may well do a bit of a checkup sort of uh, clip in a few months' time, but for now, a vision line, tick in the box, done, and yeah, it's um, yeah, getting on with life now and enjoying life. Um, and yeah, I urge you to do the same. And absolutely, if you have problems with your teeth, I would always say, 
you might not necessarily need dental straightening. You might not even want to opt for dental straightening. Um, but however, do you know what? I come across a couple of people who never ever bother going to see uh, a dentist or anything like that or having any checkups at all. I would always say prevention is far better than cure. So if you haven't seen anybody about your teeth or if you're thinking mm, I'd like something done, do you know what? Dentistry has so many options now and there are so many options in terms of affording it and affordability. And do you know what? Yes, it was an investment with my teeth. But however, that investment lasts with you for a lifetime and it offers you so much in yourself, confidence and just so many great things. It really does make you feel on top of the world. Um, so it's a true investment in yourself. So and even if it's not dental straightening you're opting for, go and see a dentist if your teeth are bothering you. You would be amazed at the different options and the different things there is out there. And if you need referring to an orthodontist, then they will take that process from there as well. But it really is a cool experience. You do get through it. Um, and it's really not that bad, anything dental. It really, really isn't. Um, of course, if it's two sort of extractions and things like that, it's a whole different ball game. Dental pain, I've never experienced that, Lord above. Um, but in terms of appearance wise that's what we're concentrating on here if it does bother you then speak to somebody about it because there may well be small changes and things which can rectify there may be some options out there which can help you of that um as i say i really enjoyed my journey with a visual line and some people didn't even know i had a visual line um yeah so i can't recommend it enough as i say i'm so pleased to have shared it with you um and as i said if there is anything you'd like to ask me please do um and i will get back to you as soon as i can on that note, God bless, take care, thank you very much, and until next time, well, I will be bringing so much more to my channel, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you then. Okay, bye for now.